Setting up HDI in Formula 23 is so simple, but it could be even simpler if Codemasters would just change one little thing. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Please keep in mind this video is about the PC version. I don't have any access to the PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series version. But I just hope that in regards to HDR, the console version is exactly the same as the PC version. And as always, first things first, does Formula 1 23 supports the Windows 11 HDR calibration menu? And the short answer is no. And that's not a big deal because we have a very simple and actually good working HDR menu in the game. And this is the menu what we're talking about, at least on the PC, but I'm very sure the same is on the PlayStation 5 or Xbox series. If I'm wrong, please just put it in the comment section. And when you start the game for the very first time, you actually have some sort of a visual feedback when you set up this menu. But just for the very first time, because I was not able to get the visual feedback when I am um, yeah, just going into the option menu later on, I can't get the visual feedback or the yeah, HDR calibration screen or whatever you want to call it back. All what you get is this simple menu with a slider and a value. But to be honest, that's not a big deal because I mentioned already that it is very simple actually to set this menu up. So let's say you have a LG G2 as I do with a maximum peak brightness of 1000 nits. So all what you have to do is set the value, the maximum peak adjustment to 10 because 10 is equal 1000 nits. And now let's say we have a TV with a maximum peak brightness of around 1500 nits. All what you have to do is set the value to 15 because again 15 is equal 1500 nits. So you can see all what you have to do is you take the value and you add two zeros and you get the maximum peak brightness what the game tries to output. So and now my question is why is it not like that? Why is the game or the game menu here or the value not displaying 1500, 2000 or 1000 nits? Why is it 10, 12, 15, 20? I don't understand this. It could be so much easier, but yeah, that's how it is. Okay, so now we know how to set up the maximum peak brightness in Formula 23. So now let's talk about the HDR quality in this game. And I have to say, I'm actually not really impressed. So the good thing in HDR in Formula 23 is that even with HGIG enabled, the average picture brightness is more than bright enough. So if you play or if you race on a sunny day, you have really the impression that it is really sunny and very, very bright. The bad thing on the other hand is that some specular highlights are just not looking very well. I mean, don't get me wrong, we can't expect always maximum peak brightness and specular highlights. But Formula 1 23 is not a great example when it comes to HDR quality. Some of the specular highlights like lights or reflections are just not looking very nice. And of course, I understand that a racing game like Formula 1 is not to compare with games like Horizon Forbidden West or Gears 5, where we have tons of HDR effects, really good looking HDR effects. But on the other hand, we have games like Forza or Gran Turismo where we have great HDR effects. I mean, the whole HDR implementation in Forza or Gran Turismo is complete on a different level. In terms of HDR, in terms of the HDR quality, Formula 23 and the same counts for yeah, the previous versions of Formula 1 games, yeah, HDR is, in my opinion, below average. Okay, my friends, so that's it for this very short video. Formula 1 23 PC version HDR settings. Very, very simple. But Codemasters, maybe in the next version, Formula 1 24, maybe we can have a proper HDR menu. And maybe you can put a lot more specular highlights in because there are some options or possibilities actually what you can do. I mean, don't get me wrong, the overall presentation in terms of graphics is really good. I like it, especially with my brand new 4080 and all the details enabled and in 4K with around 100 FPS, it's a dream to play. But again, HDR is a little bit disappointing. 